It's just a sort of terrain. We're rolling through New Mexico at the moment. Just great big open plains. We're still up near 2,000 meters and it's just endless sort of brown scrubbiness. We're into the ground frost at the moment, so you can see this morning everything's pretty frozen, including the tent. And because the air temperature drops so much during the night, condensation is just horrendous in the tent. We're absolutely dripping. Our whole route across New Mexico so far has been dominated by these transcontinental railways. So we've made it out of the vast empty scrubland of New Mexico and we just crossed the border into Texas. Woohoo! But in terms of scenery, uh, things aren't really looking up. We've just gone straight out of the desert scrub and into this dead flat farmland all around us. All heavily irrigated at the moment. Now we're into big cotton growing country and all these huge horizons. Winter has definitely caught up with us. We're trying to outrun it for the last week or so. Team America in full flow, first thing in the morning, getting getting prepped to head out into the grey bitterness. It's about minus four degrees. Big, big beef farming territory now, down here. No idea what these little beasties are who just come across out here. They're kind of half cow, half goat with those ears. <laughs> here we are, another highway service area. This stuff has been, what's really got us through a lot of the big spaces in Western America, but it's getting so sick of them because it's just fast food outlet after fast food outlet. We've got three weeks to go on this trip around the world now. Three weeks to Miami. That is a strange feeling. Like this trip is nearly coming to an end. But yeah, a bit of a mixed mood in camp in the last couple of days. Two of us been on the road for a long time and now starting to look towards home. Thinking about that a lot. And then we've obviously got a recent Anna here. For them, this is still a massive journey. Not that many roads in Louisiana for us to take across. Um, it's mainly because of this stuff. There's just, just this endless swamp plan. And it's pretty amazing stuff, but I bet there's all kinds of badness in there. Alligators, snakes, catfish, general bottom feeders. We've been pushing about 150, 170 kilometers a day this week. We've got a big day today to get to Baton Rouge. But for Anna and I, just because of the daylight hours are so limited, we're on the bike eight, nine hours every day, pretty much non-stop. We'll have a quick, quick break for lunch and we'll usually be arriving just after dark. No 
other day going full pelt on the highways another day finishing in the dark just relentless at the moment I'm just really tired these roads in Louisiana definitely the most dangerous we've been in America pretty rough shoulders come and go, which means cycling along and suddenly you're uh, out in the middle of the highway with the trucks on a bridge with nowhere else to go. Just cruising down the banks of the Mississippi River. Team working like a dream to get us to New Orleans in time for the party. This guy is That's what happens when you try and balance your bike. Are you alright, Chief? Your inquiry feels insincere. <laughs> Here we go, our first gator. We're sending in the, the head explorer for the first, first move. Yeah, he's definitely alive. He's keeping his head. What's the verdict? I don't think he'd be able to get away with it. I reckon you leave with the elbows on. Made it to New Orleans, banks of the Mississippi, despite what some people say. <laughs> Pretty grey, we've got quite a big thunderstorm coming in, but we're just making the most of it at the moment. It's quite industrial. Got got a few hangovers kicking around. Hello! <laughs> But yeah, quite a relief to be here after a long week in Austin. And uh, yeah, we're going to go see some jazz. This is the lower ninth quarter of New Orleans, which is the area that was completely devastated by Hurricane Katrina and it's still really struggling for recovery. Incredibly poor, um, lots of boarded up houses still, empty houses with shells of what they were. Quite a sobering sight to see in such a big American town. We see so much wildlife while we've been crossing the states, but unfortunately it's all been on the road. Here in Louisiana, we're now into to alligator roadkill, but we've also had skunks, deer, rattlesnakes, um, what? Armadillo. Armadillos all the time, like beavers, mongoose, everything. We're heading right out into the Gulf of Mexico now. It's all sort of coastal marshland. And these houses out here, it's pretty risky business, but they're all very sensibly up on stilts. Like this one. And this one here. But, I don't know, I still wouldn't trust just a little wooden, wooden bit of scaffolding like that. Hold me up against some of the Gulf's tropical storms and hurricanes. So happy right now. Look where we are. Pristine white sands back at the seaside. Just arrived on the shores of the Gulf of Mexico. Sun is shining. We're into the deep south now in Alabama where advertising and religion go hand in hand. As you can see from this billboard, is Jesus on your mind? He's a very happy looking Jesus. There's people out here. And well, we've become used to seeing lots and lots of churches on the side of the road in the south. The churches you go past here are all absolutely full to the rafters. People squeezed in right in the back doors. It's only a Tuesday. This is the Alabama coast in the Gulf of Mexico. It's a great big sort of salt marsh all the way along the edge. 
straight into sort of pine forest. Just heading out across Mobile Bay at the moment and this place absolutely packed full of oil rigs and natural gas platforms. This one in front of us here, Exxon Mobil, it's extracting natural gas all the way down 21,000 feet below where we are at the moment. Pretty incredible feat of engineering. But all along this Alabama coast is the site of the deep water horizon. It's the BP disaster a few years back. And you can see the, the claims for compensation still going on, but it doesn't seem to be much sign of any damage where we've been. We're into Sunshine State in Florida now and all the marshy swampland that we've been going through on the coast of Louisiana and Alabama now giving way to white sandy beaches, blue waters and just endless holiday resorts. Florida, check it out. Just, just wow. It was like a huge weight off our shoulders. Sunrise on the Florida coast. It's a pretty magical place. Very quiet at this time in the morning, which is nice. But we certainly <laughs> we certainly pay a price for being in these sort of places. To pitch a tent last night, it's fifty dollars per tent. Outrageous. Feels like we're cycling down Millionaire's Drive at the moment. It's just mansion after mansion along this coastal frontage. Absolutely stunning. But you get the sense that this place is completely inaccessible to most of the rest of the world. This place is knee deep in cash. I think our main challenge. Pickup trucks are a massive deal in the States and you get varying different types, different parts of the country, but arriving in this part of Florida, it's just got completely obscene. You've got these huge things, they're basically monster trucks and the exhaust out the back and the suspension and the raised chassis. It's getting warmer by the day as we head south down the lake of Florida. Long time since we've had walks like this. It's pretty sweaty going in this humidity. But it feels good. Yeah. The clutches are weak. 
winter. It's even a long way back now. Alright, go on Anna. Be brave. <laughs> so these are freshwater springs that we found on the edge of the Swanee River in Florida. Pretty stunning, absolutely crystal clear. Go! Solid. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Cartwheel! Cartwheel! Living the dream out here in Florida at the moment. Huh? They are very, very weird. The rest Just of them, they leave you cruising down the river they, um, on the coast near um, home of Sasa Springs and the very kind Tom and Cheryl who live here have given us a lift up to go and see the manatees. <coughs> Look at the size of this. Looks like a. Look at these birds, absolutely giant, these pelicans. You wouldn't really want to mess with them. <laughs> They're evil. Look who we found! This little diva just mincing along the cycle path. <laughs> 